Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year. We're going to start off the uh, start off the day with 2021 Panini Illusions Football. Eight box, half case, pick your team at number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card ship, a lot of fun stuff here. Very big thanks to this group right here. Now, if you're watching the show live, I did promise that uh, if the last three teams sold, right, we'll randomize and give away the Green Bay Packers. So there's Ryan, Rick, and Joe. Good luck. Let's roll it. Randomize your names. It'll be the top name after six. Bonus team. It's like an $80, $90 team. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And sixth and final time. There you go. Ryan Redman. After six, your name's on top. So now you've got... An extra team. We'll put a little rooftop next to your name so you know that they're from the uh, from the same case. All right, and let's print and rip. Yeah, I think I think Rex, that was in line with what we had speculated. Uh, when uh, long before. So we'll see. Yeah, and eventually, you know, eventually we'll start to see tops with football and basketball back again once the, uh, and I don't know, but, you know, we'll have to see what happens with the Panini as well. So it's some interesting times in the hobby. All right, there it is. Tuesday the 4th on the 22nd. There's the final printout. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. And let's start ripping open the solutions right here. Three autographs, two memorabilia cards per box on average. I need a knife. See what we got. No, it's not a it's not a partnership, Rex. They definitely bought them. But they're letting them they're letting them operate as is. This would be like similar to if Adidas buys New Balance. Right? Adidas owns them. They're a parent company, but they're saying, Adidas, you can just, Adidas is saying, New Balance, you can just operate how you operate, but your bosses are different. Your paychecks are from a different name and stuff like that. Yeah, with car dealerships a lot too, like Ford will buy Jaguar or something like that. Was it Chrysler that bought Jaguar? I don't know. Some car company will buy another car company and then say you, you just operate as you normally would. You know, maybe with a little different influence from the top, but but mostly the same. All right, there is Justin Herbert to 35. And Justin Herbert again, piece of his jersey. And both of those will go to the bolt. That's for Patrick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm the captain now. Sort of situation. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. All right. There's Jeremy Shockey. Remember him? Uh, 11 out of 299 jersey and autograph for the New York Football Giants. It'll be for Rick Thomas. I don't like how that penny sleeve crinkled a little bit here. 
You had a Facebook friend that has been a long time breaker and was concerned that Fnatic has completely dumped the top's name. <laughs> that would be, I mean, I guess they could have, but business wise, that probably would have been the most illogical thing. Let's take a brand that's been around since the 50s and then just completely dump it and not, and not like, I don't know. Nice Travis Etienne, you know, and not leverage that brand, that would be silly. I suppose they could have done it, but it just seemed, it just seemed very unlikely. We'll see him next year. Uh, Travis Etienne, Brody with the Jaguars. John Watson to 149. And Etienne again. Finax was a horrible company to deal with. I mean, how has he dealt with Fanatics? Like, we, he bought a jersey? It's, it's a completely different business than... There's Elusive Inc., Jeff George for the Colts. The hobby is, is, the, is a completely different... Uh, completely different business than than apparel so I don't know he hasn't had experiences with nor have I so I you know I can't say for certain either there will be certainly be some changes some good some bad I'm sure when a Trevor Lawrence instant impact relic <laughs> yeah Pete I do so that is for um, Brody and the Jaguars. I feel like we're getting closer to maybe an autograph. Let's see. We uh, still have a lot of a lot of boxes to go. No, actually, Rex, that's a good question. I think um, I think they did not. Uh, Fanatics did not pick up the candy part of the business. I think they they're spinning that off. Not spinning that off, but that's just going to be separate. Sure, Jordan.
they could be. <laughs> Thanks. Did Spectra sell out already? Nice. All right, next box. No, Spectra still has 18 teams left. There's Zach Wilson for the Jets. That'll be for Kevin. There's Kyle Pitts. He's been putting up some really nice numbers. And there's rookie signs Trayvon Morig. 29 out of 50. My Raiders. They've been surprisingly good. And that'll be... Uh, for Kevin. My Raiders just a game away, just one win away from uh, from getting into the playoffs, which would be which would be awesome. And even if they don't, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd say it's been a pretty great season. There's instant impact, Diami Brown. Uh, 59 out of 75. Raiders will fail, maybe. I don't think anyone's really expecting them to them to win, or even get this far. So, see, so yeah, I don't know if that's really a hot take, but I'm glad they're in this position. There's Jarvis Landry and Jalen Waddle. Nice. J and G, thanks, thanks for watching. That's true, yeah. I mean, the Raiders could actually get a little help if the Jaguars upset the Colts, which I'm not holding my breath for that. That goes to Michael and Miami. There's Trevor Lawrence. Clear shots. That's true. Houston did beat the Chargers a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> Sean Taylor. Suppose anything can happen. Any given Sunday. You know, Jacksonville did get did get torched, so I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some extra motivation there. For them to finish the season strong. There's Jamal Anderson. Elusive Inc. to 199. That'll be for Nick. And there's Des Fitzpatrick to 50. 9 out of 50. I like that sort of cracked ice look in the background there. Joe Montana, three ninety nine, and Dan the Man Marino, autograph, three color patch, nine out of ten. He's got some great penmanship too. Nice. That goes to Michael C. and the Miami Dolphins. Nice hit. We pulled a we pulled a merino in one of our mini helmet breaks yesterday, so that was awesome. All right, next box.
Yeah, I saw that too. That 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 Jim Harbaugh would enter would at least take a phone call. I feel like he's he had a he has a connection with the with the Raiders before. So there is a relationship there, so I don't know, we'll see. It'll be interesting. Top stock is done. That that was done as soon as that Fanatics deal was announced. A couple days, a couple days after that, they said that they were not going to go public anymore. There's Davis Mills to seventy five. Has been playing some good football lately. There's Zach Wilson to two ninety nine. And Tillon Wallace, first impressions, three color patch and autograph. Seventy two out of seventy five. That's right, he did start coaching. Like He was a position coach, I think, with the Raiders. He's friends with Mark Davis, so I'm sure there'll at least be a phone call. I don't know why the camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. It's too shiny. That goes to Aaron and the Ravens. Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence, Carson Wentz at 249. Kadarius Tony to 499. Quarterback coach with the Raiders. And we got a Jamar Chase instant. In what an impact he's made this season! I think with his performance last week, that might have, that might have been, uh, you know, could have potentially moved him ahead in offense rookie of the year. There's George Kittle at three ninety nine. There's Instant Impact, Mac Jones. I don't think the Colts are a public team, Pete. <laughs> I think you're just trolling at this point now. You're on thin ice. Joe with the Patriots. Gets the Mac Jones relic. Think Chase is now ahead of, of anybody? I don't know. I have not actually looked at the odds. So... So I don't know how the odds have changed. Zach Wilson to 25. Kevin with the Jets. He's been looking good the last couple of weeks here. My camera doesn't want to focus right now. These cards are too shiny. Ramondre Stevenson, green ink autograph. Cameron's having a hard time with illusions here. 17 out of 50. For the Pats, that's going to go to Joe. Joe Pearson. Hmm. Come on, camera. DeAndre Hopkins to four ninety nine. Trevor Lawrence, Mystique. Come on, what's going on, Cameron?
There's Mirage Inc. David Carr, Derek's brother. Sorry, I don't know why this camera is acting goofy right now. 38 out of 75. Let me actually reload, reload that. There's Jamar Chase right there too. The David Carr goes to the Texans, Patrick Davis. All right, um, let me actually try to, before I get to the next box. Try to re-add this camera here. Yeah, I'm not sure why the camera's having some trouble focusing. There we go. Maybe the camera might need a vacation. You're not, you're not getting cataracts yet, Rex. It's Kadarius Tony, Mystique autograph. Nice, Rick Thomas, Giants. The G-Men. 22 out of 50. Could be uh, could be one to watch. Amon Ross St. Brown to 399. Mystique Davis Mills. An elusive ink, Jake Plummer. Uh, David Carr, Jake Plummer. Not sure. Sorry, folks. All right, technical difficulties, bear with me here. And we got a Trey Lance highlight relic for the Niners. That's going to be for Victor. Trying to focus on something else, like maybe these stack of filler cards. Yeah, maybe a new camera. Mm, the camera needs a vacation. There's our Madre Stevenson to ninety nine. George Kittle, the 399. Zach Wilson and a Justin Herbert highlight relic. I think maybe it was trying to focus on, on that back there. I'm not sure.
There's Big Ben. Might have been his last uh, last home game last week. Probably will be. So I'm not sure where did the Steelers go from there. There's Nico Collins' first impressions, jersey and autograph for the Texans. 121 to 299. King of Cards, Aaron Rodgers, and who might be our MVP this year, and Matthew Stafford to 99. I think Haskins is still on the Steelers. All right, we are halfway through this break. Another 30 minutes to go, 25, 30 minutes to go. Yeah, well, that's the, yeah, Anthony Davis, I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm not a medical professional. I can't really, really say if it's, CTE or not with Antonio Brown. I think a lot of people are connecting dots, which may be logical dots, but, but still at the end of the day, we don't really know. You know, so, I mean, at the surface, what can we take from the surface is that, is that he is, at the very least, at the, at, at the worst, maybe it's a medical issue, but at the very least, he's just not a professional. You can't quit on your team like that. Definitely not in the middle of a game like that. You know, injured or not. You know, with his ankle. I don't know why, why protest that after the game. You know, like why, why be a disruption in the middle of the game? I think the Buccaneers might have been down at that point too. Or maybe they weren't. I don't know. But, but the teammates needed him. No, I think, I think you're right. I don't think CT is getting any worse in the NFL. I think it's just getting more attention. I think you're spot on there. We're just more aware of it now. But again, I don't know if that's the case with, you know, I don't know if that's the case with Antonio Brown. That's what a lot of people seem to be speculating. But again, there's Kyle Trask. Nice. But yeah, I mean, people are connecting the dots to the, to the, to the perfect, to the perfect incident, but Kyle Trask, one of the Buccaneers, Joe Pearson, last spot mojo. But it's pretty crazy. It's a it's a it's a wild situation. And I, I don't know if he's gonna he's such an exciting player, but I don't think we're gonna see him. Three thousand points, wow. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. It's a boatload of points, and that'll go to uh, that'll go to any and all points will go to uh, to someone in this break. Name on top will get it. It's Trey Lance to three ninety nine. Trevor Lawrence to two ninety nine. And we got a Kyle Pitts instant impact relic for the Falcons. It's Nick T in the ATL. Those Trevor Lawrence's will add up. And there's a highlight relic, Trevor Lawrence. Oh, was that Montana a case hit? It did look different. Let me grab, let me go back to that. There you go. Hollow Heroes. Joe Montana, Niners, Victor. Yeah, I didn't realize this was the case hit. Thanks, guys. And there's Cornell Powell, first impressions, relic and autograph to 299. Jay saying, Jay saying blaming on Burfick is nonsense. He had a lot of issues before that play. Chiefs, Thomas, yeah, a lot of people trying to play home doctor, you know, and maybe maybe it'll be true, but I don't know. I can't can't really confidently say we're not 
I'm, I'm, I'm not a doctor, so I wouldn't be able to diagnose that from afar. So, but what, 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 what do we see just based on the evidence that we see? On the surface is that he quit on his team. He's a bad teammate. Why? TBD, maybe, maybe there's just too many, too many yes men around him. Leading to, I don't know, leads him acting out like that, but that's at the very least, that's what we see. I guess whether, whether it's a, whether it's related to some sort of medical issue, I guess that'll be TBD. But what I do know is that I, I can't see another team taking a chance on Antonio Brown. I think someone asked that yesterday. They were like, but these issues have been cropping up. I mean, yeah. Uh, I think enough bridges have been, has been burned for Antonio Brown, which is a shame because like, yeah, exactly, Pat. Pat's like, yeah, needless to say, I just don't see him wearing a jersey again in the pros. All right, who's gonna who's gonna take a shot unless it's just totally incentive laden? You know what I mean? That's the only way. You're not putting any kind of like guaranteed money or anything like that with him. There's a Monra St. Brown. That's a cool looking parallel. 7 out of 10. And Jamar Chase, Chad Johnson. Nice deja vu. 22 out of 99. Bengals, Gale with the Bengals. Monra St. Brown at 10. We'll go to Oliver and the Lions. I feel like he had a. Did he have a decent game last week? Oh, and Kenny Galladay back, hiding back there. And there's a Trevor Lawrence instant impact relic. I feel like we're getting so close to an auto here, but not quite, Brody. We still got some time, though. Baker Mayfield getting a getting surgery on that torn labrum, which has probably impacted his performance for a good chunk of the season. Right, let's see what he can do healthy. There's Trevor Lawrence. One. There's the auto. Trevor Lawrence rookie autograph, mystique auto, for the Jaguars. That's Brody and the Jags picked up the Jaguars straight up, and that is one out of twenty-five. Nice. Rough rough rookie year for him, but you know, I don't think he really has too many weapons around him, coaching changes, all that sort of stuff, but but hopefully he'll be back on track next year. That would be good for the hobby. There's Mac Jones. Yeah, I feel like we were getting warmer on that. And there's Antoine Randall L. Remember him? Thirteen out of fifty superlatives auto. That'll be for the Steelers, Bill Norton. Steelers will be looking at a quarterback change next year. There's Matthew Stafford to 249. Will Stafford be the answer for the Rams in the playoffs for a deep playoff run? And we've got a uh, redemption here and an Aaron Rodgers to 399. Monroe St. Brown to 399. Another Trevor Lawrence, Davis Mills to 499. Najee Harris, he's starting to heat up a little bit too. The redemption is going to be, wow, 
Mac Jones and Najee Harris. Rookie Reflections Dual Patch Autographs Red. What's the what's the red parallel? What is that number two? Going to cardboardconnection.com. Looking up 2021 Illusions Football. Let's go to the checklist. This is Rookie Reflections. Rookie Reflections Dual Patch Autographs. Um, that, okay, it says red is 99 or less. I thought it was going to be a little bit lower than that. But that's going to be one person happy, one person sad. Mac Jones, Patriots, Joe Pearson. And then Najee Harris, Steelers, Bill Norton. Although on the checklist it says Mac Jones, Najee Harris, Patriots, Steelers, numbered out of 20. Because it is red says 99 or less. So maybe this is or less out of 20. I don't know. You'll have to redeem it and we'll find out. So we're going to find out. One happy person, one sad person. I did watch that, Pat. Yeah, fans chanting for Big Ben. I like the little, the sort of lap he took around the stadium, sort of Cal Ripken Jr. style. You know, yeah. It's kind of weird. Like we, we, Drew, Drew Brees retired last year. It's weird not to see him on the field. Philip Rivers retired recently as well. No more Big Ben. So that's kind of crazy to think that we're starting to uh, starting to like see these older quarterbacks start to retire and a new crop of quarterbacks coming in here. So so I mean, he's he's had quite a career. Tim, when who was talking to your staff? There's Diami Brown. Ink blots autograph. Where's oh there's the number right there. Three out of ninety-nine. Is that right? Ben never won a game in Oakland? The only team he played at least twice in his career never won. Alright, I'll I'll hang my Raiders hat on that. There's Daniel Jones to two forty nine. And there's John Randall, Mirage, Inc. Autograph, 17 out of 25. He's pretty good. Paul with the Vikings. Ben Rosberger, first ballot Hall of Famer, right? He's got two Super Bowls. I think he's got enough, enough counting stats. Right? Passing yards and TDs and whatnot. Tory Holt jersey and autograph, ninety nine. That will be for the Rams. That's going to go to Patrick Davis. First ballot for sure. Not like Buster Posey. It's Cam Newton to one forty nine. Trey Lance and Trey Sermon to four ninety nine. So 
So, sir, so both of those trays going to the Niners, of course. That'll be for Victor. And we've got Ian Book, Drew Brees. Ian Book wishes... Both of those relics going to Ron and the Saints. There's Etienne to 149. We got Tutu Atwell and Tory Holt. Deja Vu, two color dual relic for Patrick and the Rams. Oh, Tim's talking about Bruce, Ar Bruce Arians? I feel like that feels a little out of context, Tim. Were we, I forget, were we talking about Bruce Arians earlier? We had contact with his building for pest control, Tim saying. He was requesting his legal for tech to do, he lost, your, he lost his mind on your tech team? You have to speak to him in person? It's kind of weird. I guess uh, I don't know why. We, I don't know I'm not a. I guess I'm, maybe I should be, but not much of a. Not really a, a, a yeller at the at the tech staff that comes into your that's trying to help you out. Head coaches can be, he didn't want, he, he was trying to tell you how to do your job, basically, Tim. That's what was happening. He was just like, unless, unless he spray, sprays it how he wanted first. So you said, forget it. It's kind of weird. Why, I, like, if I, if I was Bruce Aarons, why would you even care? Let him do, let you do your job. You should have told him. You should have told him, "Hey, if you want to tell me how to do my job, maybe I can call some plays for you on game day." How about that. Last box. It's Trevor Lawrence, forty-seven out of fifty. That's a good-looking card there. Oh, about the AB situation. He was kicked off sign for not wanting to play on an injured ankle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're ever going to really figure out. What the, I mean, it might, might be a while before we really unpack what exactly happened that day, but. Wild situation. Here's Ian Book. Book it. Instant impact relic. That's for the Saints. That'll be for Ron. There's Jalen Hurts for the Fly Eagles Fly going to the playoffs to 149. I don't think people expected expected them. I might. I think a lot of people expected the Eagles to be in the playoffs. And there is Stephon Diggs, 8 out of 99. Limelight signatures for the Bills. Cody, Buffalo! Now the Bills, with Devin Singletary last week, started to look like they had a bit of a, a running game is emerging, which could really balance out their team. That could make them real dangerous. There's clear shots, Trevor Lawrence. Chuba Hubbard to 499. Titans might get Derrick Henry back for the playoffs. That would be that would be good for them. That'll make them a dangerous team. There's Michael Carter. First impressions jersey and auto. 29 out of 299. I feel like the, the Jets have been looking pretty competent the last few weeks. That'd be good for the hobby to have Zach Wilson have a nice finish to the season. His teammate Michael Carter too. You know, and then and then after a draft, 
And a free agency window. See how they do. There is for the Dolphins, Jalen Waddle and Jarvis Landry, rookie idols dual relic. Another one going to Miami. And it'll be for Michael. That other one had a little bit of dirt on that Jarvis Landry jersey. <laughs> yeah, right, Tim? I know. Sometimes being professional is such a hassle in the, re in the retail, in the customer service retail world. All right, and the last thing here is rookie signs Christian Barmore for the Patriots. That's 54 out of 199. That'll go to um, Joe Pearson, who has the Pats. All right, and Joe Burrow. Some people talking Joe Burrow has maybe an outside shot at at MVP this year. I mean, that would, that would be pretty huge. I don't think it will be, but he's, he's, he's in that conversation. All right, let's, uh, let's do a couple randomizers here. So let's flip back to, let's get a random.org screen set up here. So let's go back to random.org. The first, we'll use one dice roll for both randomizers. The first one will be Mac Jones, New England, and Najee Harris, Pittsburgh. One happy person, one sad person. Everybody has a shot from Ryan all the way down to Kyle and everyone in between. Everyone has a shot at 3,000 points, which I'm sure would go for a lot of money on the secondary market, or you could probably buy some exclusive packs that are on uh, on the Panini reward store. So that, that could get you some, some nice exclusive stuff as well. And I'll do a re recap really quick after these randomizers. Let's roll it, randomize it two and a three, five times for both lists. The dual auto first. After five, good luck. One, two, three, four, and team on top, fifth and final time, goes to New England. So apologies to the Steelers, that would be Bill Sad times for you, but very happy times for Joe Pearson, who picked up the Patriots straight up. And now let's see who gets 3,000 points. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of points. Let's flip back here. Two and a three, five times. Name on top gets it. One, two, Three, and then two more times, four and five. Good luck, four, and fifth and final time after five. A lot of sad people here, but the name on top is very happy, 3,000 points for Kevin. There you go, Kevin, I don't know if I called your name out. Oh, I guess you got the Michael Carter patch auto, but not much else. So 3,000 points going your way, Kevin, make good use of it, um, and uh, let's, do that recap. So there was a 3,000 points over there. The dual relic, dual auto. Stefan Day. It's a pretty nice break. Nice Trevor Lawrence. Some old school guys. Tori Holt, John Randall. Antoine Randall L. Trevor Lawrence autograph is sweet. There was the, the one for case. Hollow Heroes, Joe Montana. Kyle Trask autograph. Kadarius Tony, David Carr, Ramondre Stevenson. Dan Marino. Patch Auto, that's not too shabby. Jamal Anderson, there's that dirt right there on the Jarvis Landry jersey. Trayvon Morig. Jeff George, Travis Etienne. It's a pretty nice break. Jeremy Shockey, and we started off with a Justin Herbert relic. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.